Hello, I'm the Erased Loot Cartographer, and this is the 170th video of my Fallout 76 Surveil series, and here we are at the Hornwright Summer Villa. Taking a look at the map, it's here to the south of Summersville Lake, surrounded by all these other expensive homes. So the Hornwright family was a very powerful mining family here in Appalachia. They have their headquarters over here in Charleston, and they also owned the Rockhound up here on Mount Blair. Now, the main family members that we know of the Hornwright family are Penelope Hornwright and her father Daniel. Of course, Daniel also was married, uh, but his wife passed away before the war. Now, there also are other members of the Hornwright family, and we don't know exactly who stayed here when, and uh, there's really not that much information on that. There is a key card here that we'll find for the estate, which is actually all the way down here in Bromwell, uh, but we'll see that later on. So why don't we go ahead and start talking about what we're going to find here. So... The enemies you're going to find, Liberator Robots. Now, along with that, I have found a lone dog, Feral Ghoul, and Super Mutant at various times. I'm not sure why, but they seem to spawn back over there near the greenhouse. And again, it's just one at a time. I don't, I don't know why. Uh, now, along with that, in terms of the collectible nodes you're going to be able to find here, we're talking corn, gourds, rhododendron, soot flowers, brain fungus, wood piles, and logs. All right, with all that said, why don't we take a look around the site? Now, right over here, we have this little picnic with a couple of bikes, some uh, fancy lead snack cakes there, and some junk otherwise. Along with that, if you look down the side here, you can see there's a little bit of furniture out here. Not sure exactly where this came from. I mean, I assume it came from the house, but I don't know why it would be down there. And then we also have this fountain here with the lion. All right, why don't we go ahead and head around this side of the house. You can see the Hornwright Industrial logo up there. There's some of the rhododendron I was talking about. A log over here. The house is kind of destroyed back here, but we'll come to the house later. First, we're going to check out the greenhouse back here. More rhododendron. And if we come in here, you can see the corn I was talking about, and along with that, the gourds. Now, along with that, there's some fertilizer and some other junk in here. The clay pots, for example, the enamel bucket and the garden gnome uh, right there. And along with that, there's that container here with some junk. Okay, with that said, and there's the feral ghoul I was talking about. Again, it's just one at a time. It's basically right out here. Super mutant as well. Mongrel, I don't know. It's, it's weird that you find these individual enemies surrounded by liberator bots. Anyway, though, right over here, cooking station. A gazebo up over here, some soot flowers, more rhododendron, and just come up in here, not really anything to see here. Alright, let's head back down this way, and let's take a look at the house. Now before we go in, I'm going to jump up on the roof, now I'm assuming you have to have marsupial to be able to get to this lower roof. Of course I'm doing this in the Fallout world, where I have a nuclear jump, <laughs> so I can jump this high anyway. But there is a safe here on the roof level zero and along with that I also have found a cap stash over here but that's uh, not a guaranteed thing so let's get back down to the ground floor okay back porch got some places to sit got some wood piles plants broken wall into the living room an ice machine another chair okay let's go ahead and head in the back door there we go we got a piano we got some junk sitting around. We got a big hole in the floor. That's my cat. Uh, desk right there. More junk. Yes, I know. Making a video though right now. Okay, why don't we go ahead and head downstairs. Right down here we have more junk. Wood piles. Potentially you can find a weapon mod plan right here. Alright. Weapons workbench. Along with that this little table. And here we go, a armor mod plan, a armor workbench, some junk, some binoculars, more junk over here, some containers that can potentially hold junk, then you've got the uh, ammo box here, a uh, security baton right there, along with that some brain fungus, and a young woman. Now you can see that the items that she's carrying here, the worn veil and the damaged holotape, uh, they, those are actually part of the Mistress of Mystery quest line. This character has not done that, at least not in this world. So, that's something to keep in mind if you ever find one of them, and you can find one of them here. Now, along with that, there's a box of bobby pins over here. You can potentially find a magazine right here. Okay, we can come on over here. 
And there you go, Hornret Estate Access Key Card. Again, this key card is can be used down here at the Hornwright Estate down in Bromwell. So just something to keep in mind if you need one of those. Now along with that over here, the steamer trunk for the location. And that really kind of covers the basement. A few collectibles, a few collectible nodes, a couple of workbenches. Let's head upstairs and back out again. Okay, now then, there's still one structure to look at here. Go out past the main structure. And there it is. The garage with the apartment over it. So, we'll take a look at this garage first. Well, actually, wood piles and rhododendron. But going in here, we have a tinkerer's workbench. A bunch of junk over there. Containers for junk, containers for food. More junk. Okay. Going around the car, we can check out this garage. Which, I keep turning this off because it seems like it's not bright enough. Uh, coming over here, you can see there's a shovel and a sledgehammer. Along with that, there's some more junk. Container for junk. A weapons workbench. More junk. And a lead pipe right there. Alright, coming around, we can go to the back of the property. More soot flowers around here. And then we can head up and in. More Liberator bots in here. You can still see some of their remains lying around. Moldy food. That's <laughs> some of the rare food you can find here. There's some more junk. More junk. More junk. There's a hollow tape. We'll come back to that in just a minute here. Containers for junk. A little bit of food. But I would not recommend eating it. And <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll show you why here. And with regards to this note and the fact that there's all this rat poison here. By the way, that's a lot of lead right there. So if you're looking for lead, a lot of rat poison here. There's some more there. And we can come back in here. Nuka Cola Quantum back there. That's, of course, not always going to be there. Refrigerator. And down by the refrigerator, we have another magazine. Okay. Kitchen. Another safe, level one in this case. Desk, little sitting area with lockers for some reason. I don't know, maybe the workers were up here, but there's only one bed. I don't know, it seems kind of weird. Uh, anyway, okay, why don't we go ahead and read the note. Regarding the infestation. Wilbur, those damn kids are back, sneaking around and getting into my estate, little bastards. Make sure you lay some sugar bombs with rat poison and leave them out where they can find them. That worked the last time we had pests. My husband and I didn't go into the vault with Cassie because we weren't about to live like common rabble. Like some commune with quotas and an overseer dictator living above everyone. That's communist crap. The only people we have to care about are our own. You and the girls had better fix this or we'll see who finds themselves kicked out of here. Miss? Mrs. Amalthea. So, the notions expressed in this note are obviously horrible, listing sugar bombs with rat poison to kill children, but along with that, who is Mrs. Amalthea? Because this is the Hornwright estate. I don't know, it just seems kind of weird. Maybe the Hornwright sold the place and it just simply kept the name. I don't know why it would still have the logo over the door, but... Anyway, um, <laughs> along with that, why don't we go ahead and take a listen here to Kelly's holotape. Alright, now, I don't think that that has any connection to this note over here. I mean, maybe it did, because, again, we're talking about a couple of people that were coming by here. By the way, there is a uh, set of wind chimes right there, so if you want to break that down for aluminum, you can. But anyway, there is another hollow tape down there in that cabin, and we'll cover that in the next forest surveil video. Uh, but, again, I, I don't know that that, has, that hollow tape has anything to do specifically with this note about poisoning children. Um, anyway though, why don't we go ahead and look at the full list of all the loot you can find here.
All right, well, this has been the Resolute Cartographer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.